coming into an orbital nighttime. So I think they just want to make sure they have all the right conditions uh, for the final approach and docking of this spacecraft. Again, the crew is going to be monitoring all the way up until just two meters away. And then we might hear uh, a call out over the space to grounds CHOP, which stands for Crew Hands Off Point. And that just means everything at that point is in the hands of Dragon and the space station, including abort. All looking at systems and they're also uh, looking at the communication coverage between here and the International Space Station. They do want to make sure we have a good signal. Nine and ten in one decimal one zero two. Dragon approach and retreat monitoring. Uh, the crew has that center line camera, which is directly dead on. Um, and as long as we keep hearing these good callouts, it sounds like Dragon is dead right where it needs to be. And there it is. There's that center line camera view that the crew in the International Space Station is using. They use the overlays to uh, figure out and that and that visual docking. Uh, a uh, guide right there to make sure the Dragon is exactly where it needs to be as it approaches. On the right hand side you can start to see the mechanisms uh, of the SpaceX docking system aboard the Dragon. Uh, the very first part of Dragon that will make contact with the ISS is that soft capture ring. Alright, so we're at that crew hands off point. That means we're about two meters away. Crew no, no longer sending commands. Dragon doing everything on its own. Capture confirmed. As you compare. Uh, you can hear the cheers behind us at uh, SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. We have confirmation of a soft capture of the Dragon spacecraft to the International Space Station. Uh, you can see in your view the Dragon still moving around. A Open up a seal manually and insert air from the station into that vestibule. And then they have to do a series of leak checks, obviously, just to make sure that everything is good. Uh, before they move to opening the hatches. And there's a hatch on the pressurized mating adapter side. Precaution as they enter the uh, Dragon spacecraft. This is the. All right, and so with that go, and you heard seven decimal one, so that's the next step in their procedures, and that's for them to actually go in and start opening up the hatch. 7.1 is to move in close to the hatch. 7.2 is to open the hatch. So we are right there. 7 a.m. Pacific, I think 8.07 a.m. Eastern time. I'm doing some quick math in my head and that's the International <laughs> Space Station and Dragon docked together flying over the Northern Atlantic about 255 statute miles in the air. So the Dragon hatch is open. You can see an arm and reaching this is, in this is the very first time that humans have been on orbit inside of a dragon 2 capsule or any oh excuse me not any dragon oh, dragon 2 capsule <laughs> all right again so it looks like david saint jacques he's going to be the first one through he's going to take some quick atmospheric readings uh he's using a device that we have over on the u.s side there he is 
David inside, inside of Dragon. Human beings inside the Dragon spacecraft. You might hear some uh, cheers here from uh, SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne. Uh, this is just an incredible sight for the SpaceX team uh, to see.